Hello, this is Lucas Palmeira and I'm here to give you a tutorial on how to set up the TKFX app. So after you've downloaded and installed TKFX, you should come to the setup page of the TKFX help and download the Loop MIDI software and the U-Bridge. Loop MIDI is a software used to create a virtual MIDI port on the Windows systems. This is only needed on Windows systems because Windows by default cannot create virtual MIDI ports. So once you have downloaded and installed Loop MIDI, you, have, you should have the icon on the system tray which you can open to configure and create a virtual MIDI port. After you've done that, you should download the U-Bridge and after downloading the U-Bridge and installing it, you should go to the TKFX tab and select U-Bridge Virtual, which are the ports that we created before on Loop MIDI. The next step should be to come to the download page of the TKFX in Imaginando site, put your email on the box and press the get download link then you should go to your email and you should have a link there that will take you to this page to select your download and select to download TKFX 3.0 or greater. Next we come to tractor and we open the tractor preferences we go to controller manager and we select import we choose the TKFX mapping that we downloaded before, open, select OK, and then on device generic MIDI import out port, we should select the UBridge virtual on both. We close it, and now we should be able to open the app. Here I have uh, a window with the streaming of the mobile device that I'm using right now. And on the mobile device we're using, we click on the menu here, we go to connection, and here we have both connections that I have available right now. One of them, like the symbol indicates, is a Wi Fi connection, and the other one is a USB wired connection which I'm going to choose now. Okay, wired connection is on. We can see the lights blinking in MIDI in and MIDI out. That means that we are receiving and sending MIDI information. And the MIDI input device and MIDI output device, as we can see, is selected to Nunu's iPad, which was the connection that we selected before. So right now, we should have everything set up. So I'm going to press browser, choose a song, and play. And everything is fine, and we're controlling Tractor as well. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. And on the next one, I'm going to show you how to use the DAX modules on TKFX. Goodbye, and see you next time.